In Violet's reveal presentation all the way back in January, Smash director Masahiro Sakurai announced the Fighters Pass Volume 2, featuring an additional six DLC fighters who would be joining the Ultimate roster. It wasn't until March that we learned more. In the March Mini Direct, we got a quick announcement revealing that the first fighter in Volume 2 would be a representative of the ARMS franchise. Would it be Springman? Twintel? Paper Mario? Okay, it wasn't Paper Mario. We all shared our theories and eagerly waited the next announcement, scheduled for sometime in June. As most of you know, that announcement just happened. In a charming presentation directly from his own home, Sakurai revealed to the world that Min Min will be the new ARMS fighter. Perhaps stomping on many of our more thought-out theories, he explained that Min Min was chosen by ARMS creator Kosuke Yabuki simply because he liked her. Min Min is a young girl who hails from a ramen shop using noodle-like arms. Sakurai then went on to show off Min Min's moveset and unique mechanics, as well as the new Spring Stadium stage included with the character. Min Min has many very unique attributes, and we were all hoping to get a chance to try her out right away, but unfortunately we'll have to wait until June 29th for her actual release. In the meantime, there's a ton of info we can gather and discuss from this presentation, so we'll be breaking down everything in this video. But first, our question of the day. Where do you think Min Min will fall in the tier list? Top tier? Mid tier? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more Min Min content when she releases. For more incoming resources on Min Min and every character, check out our website ProGuides.com. We've got guides on every character and specialized courses to help you improve. Many of these courses are even taught by top players such as MKLeo and Esam, and you won't find them anywhere else. If you want more personalized help, you can always take advantage of our InstaPro feature to connect with a great coach whenever you want. We've also got a stacked lineup of live streamers on both our website and right here on our YouTube channel, featuring names such as Keitaro and Cosmos. You can catch the YouTube streams weekdays at 12pm PST, so make sure you turn on notifications to see when we go live. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at Sakurai's Min Min presentation. Sakurai prefaces his demo of Min Min by stating that the character excels against heavier fighters, but struggles with lighter and more aerial-based fighters. He's already grouping her into the long-range zoner category, being great at a distance but struggling in close quarters. However, competitive players are pretty good at finding ways around a character's weak points. Sakurai then goes on to begin demonstrating Min Min's moveset, starting with her extended jab, which seems to double as a forward tilt. Next, he shows off her forward smash, which travels further and appears to be a bit slower, naturally sacrificing speed for strength. Both of these attacks have immense range, making a mockery of characters like Violet and the Belmonts. The next tidbit is one of the most unique mechanics. Min Min can walk or jump during her forward tilt and forward smash. Besides for Mega Man's forward tilt, no character can do anything like this. Typically, a major weakness of grounded attacks in Smash is that they lock you in place during the animation, but being able to stay mobile will make Min Min's long-range ground moves much harder to whiff punish. The arm attacks can also be angled as fans of the original game might expect. Sakurai shows that a punch angled down into the ground will bounce upwards, similar to Link's boomerang. For every attack so far, Min Min has only been using her left arm, but now Sakurai shows us that she can independently punch with her right arm by using the B button. This mimics combat in the arms game perfectly, as players can use separate buttons or Joy-Cons to control each arm. We now can also see Min Min as a character who can both move and attack during the animation for another attack. This combined with her range already seems like a threatening zoning kit. She can even throw a second punch in the opposite direction of her first, which could be very useful at ledge or potentially in doubles play. Sakurai now unveils his trusted table, upon which he can unleash his masterful dual controller gameplay. In the next segment, Sakurai shows us Min Min's arms activating Marth's counter, which has no effect. This basically confirms that her arm attacks will be disjointed, meaning attacking the extended arms will not hurt Min Min. He then goes on to show the limited vertical range of her punches and the ease with which they can be punished in close quarters. As we predicted in our speculation video, the arms stop when hitting a target, but travel max distance when whiffed. This leaves Min Min quite vulnerable, but her ability to move while whiffing should mitigate this risk. Sakurai emphasizes the effectiveness of aerial approaches against Min Min and also briefly shows off the arm attack's vulnerability to shields. This might mean an increased cooldown of sorts upon hitting someone's block, but we don't get too much info on this mechanic. Now it's time to look at Min Min's special moves. Since neutral and side B act as right arm punches, she technically only has an up and down special. Her down special gives her the very unique ability to change arms, 
That's another point for our prediction video, by the way, as we propose this exact function for down special. This move will change the arm used for the right hand, and can be performed any time an input is possible, making it quite dynamic. Min Min can choose from three arms, the Ram Ram, the Megawatt, and her signature dragon. The Ram Ram appears to be the fastest, with a looping vertical attack at the end, and the weakest power. Sakurai shows that this move can be effective against offstage opponents. Its long active period could be great for two frames and obliterate some recoveries. Contrary to the Ram Ram, the Megawatt is pretty slow and powerful. This marks the first instance of a character who can essentially alter the frame data of a normal attack. Lastly, the Dragon. Min Min's left arm is always the Dragon, but the right arm can be a Dragon too. The Dragon is a more balanced arm in general, and either Dragon can fire a laser if the button is held down. This attack appears to cover about 90% of the entire stage, which is kind of crazy, but basically makes the arm punches feel more like projectiles than melee attacks. Now we get a look at Min Min's grab. As expected, it's a long-range tether grab using both arms. This range does appear to be longer than any existing tether grab, but fortunately does not reach quite as far as some of her other attacks. Sakurai shows us Min Min's up throw. It seems a bit laggy and probably doesn't have much combo potential, but we won't know for sure until she releases next week. After the throw, Min Min's left dragon arm is powered up. This is based on a mechanic in the arms game that charges up Min Min's arm after performing a throw. The charge dragon is larger in size, stronger, and fires a longer laser blast. Ah yes, more range. The charge laser punch has so much range that the game camera can't even fit the whole thing in the shot. Finally, we get a look at Min Min's unique aerials. The basic punch and smash punch attacks double as forward and back aerials, so the first thing we see is neutral air. Min Min's nair is a circular swing of the right arm, and because of this, its speed and strength are also altered by the arm chosen. You can use nair with the left arm as well, but not simultaneously. This is extremely interesting because you'll have the choice between two versions of your nair at any time if you're not running Double Dragon. We don't get to see the nair hit an opponent, but it could have some combo potential. Although even the fastest arm seems a bit sluggish at frame 8, judging by the footage, Nair gives Min Min a good option in close quarters, which counters her weak points. That isn't all though, as Sakurai moves on to demonstrate her kick attacks. In the arms game, Min Min can use kicks with her dodges to deflect incoming attacks, and this is represented in Smash. With a quick press of the A button, Min Min will throw out a fast kick which functions as an alternate jab, and can be pressed repeatedly for a standard rapid jab. It seems to be around frame 6, which is a bit slow for a jab, but still improves Min Min's close range capabilities. The quick press jab is not her only kick attack either. Up tilt and up smash perform wheel and somersault kicks respectively. The up smash can even reflect projectiles, similar to its function in arms. Her dash attack is a jump kick, which gives her a zone breaking approach option, and her down tilt is a slide like clouds and jokers. Sakurai strings a down tilt into an up tilt, which looks way too slow to be a true combo frankly, but does show a rather impressive reach on up tilt. We then see her down smash, which is a pretty standard split kick. Now for the remaining aerials. Up air is a standard flipping kick. It appears to come out on frame 7, which is pretty quick. This up air, along with her up tilt and up smash, actually seem to give Min Min some good options for dealing with aerial approaches, which Sakurai has touted as a strong counterplay against her. Next, we see Min Min's down air, a dive kick similar to Zero Suits or Sheik's. This offers her a decent landing mix-up, which is much needed with her slow nair. And then Sakurai completes Min Min's moveset by showing us her up special. On the ground, her up special is Arms Jump. She springs into the air at a height that can be varied by the duration of the B press, similar to Banjo's up special. At full charge, Min Min shoots out of the camera shot, and she can angle this move. What's even better is that this Uppy will not put Min Min in freefall, so she can perform aerials out of it like Sonic or Game & Watch. In fact, it may be even more similar to Game & Watch's Uppy, as Sakurai mentions that it has a bit of invincibility while rising. This could make Uppy a great out of shield option, further countering Min Min's up close weaknesses. Grounded Uppy does not appear to have a hitbox though. In the air, Min Min's up special is Arm Hook, the tether recovery that most of us expected her to have. Sakurai mentions that it won't often be used as an attack, so we can assume it's more similar to Joker's aerial up B than Violet's. We can see the up B tethered to the ledge from pretty far, but we can't say for sure how big the max range of it will be. From here, Sakurai goes on to show off Min Min's flashy final smash featuring fellow arms reps, as well as the new Spring Stadium stage. The stage has some clear issues in terms of being tournament legal, so we won't be analyzing it. 
Looking at everything we know about Min Min so far, she seems like a very capable zoner, with dynamic camping tools to pressure opponents from afar and cover options as she continues to create space between her and her opponent. She may be quite frustrating to fight, but looks very deep from the perspective of playing her thanks to her swappable arms and simultaneous actions. As Sakurai implied, Min Min will most likely struggle against fast characters with strong advantage states as she seems to lack reliable landing and get off me tools. We'll find out soon! I've been your host G5 Cosmos for this video and you can check me out at Game5 Smash on YouTube or Twitter. If you guys want to learn everything about Min Min when she drops next week, make sure to subscribe right here to Pro Guides and click that bell, and we'll catch you in the next video.